man. I don't know where the hell y'all are all that other bullshit. Man, I got eight million dollars for one project, and that's it. I see y'all pretty mad, but hold on. But your favorite artist ain't getting eight million for a project. Smith and bitch, just get it. Right there, chill, no limit. Popping on X, popping on X, popping on X pills. Got a new car, got a new bitch, and I got a new deal. <laughs> check it out, I'm check it out now. Pop to Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Now, you remember that bullshit, man? Now, here's the thing, man. I was born at night, just not last night, motherfucker. Now, when I'm hearing Lil Pump, and by the way, I do love a good Lil Pump meme or a troll, okay? When I'm on social media, Instagram, Twitter, I'm trolling with Lil Pump, okay? When Lil Pump say he's a Harvard graduate, he is fucking... Now, when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I got to stick to facts only because people come to me for a sense of credibility, and they come to me for the facts, okay? Now, here's the thing. Lil Pump just signed back to the same record label, which he got out of the deal with them like a month or two ago, Warner Music Group. He got out of a $2 million deal and got back into a deal with them for like $8 million. I called it a win. I said, W, okay, I got to give it to him. You know I got to give it to him because he basically finessed six more million dollars. Now, the terms of the deal... Actually got people thinking, ah, is this really a W? Because even though he's promised to get $8 million up front, people are looking to say, wait, he's going to have to be signed for seven years. And $8 million in seven years is not that impressive. Now, I actually just look at it like, man, this guy wanted the bag up front. And also, it's way better than the deal he had before. However, Lil Pump clearly seen some people still criticizing him and saying, why did you sign back? He came out on Instagram to say, motherfucker, check this out, all right? I only signed for $8 million, but only for one album, all right? And I got to say, Pump, cut the malarkey. Man, if you don't admit to people that that $8 million is for seven years, man, it ain't for no one fucking album. It's kind of like when X said he signed $6 million deal for one album. Cut it out. Okay, basically, nobody's going to be investing that much money into your brand and you could just dip after one album. What? What are you talking about? Okay, now, I do believe that there is some things involved in the contract. Like, for example, I do believe Warner is going to retain the master to Lil Pump his first album. And then his next album, they're going to, of course, own that as well. And I believe they're going to at least have the rights to him for a couple more years. Let's keep in mind, because a lot of people throw around money like it's Monopoly money. $8 million is a lot of money, okay? Music don't really sell these days. Lil Pump is a streaming artist. 80% of his sales come through streaming, okay? By the way, 1,500 streams is equal to one sale, at least as how it's tabulated on the Billboard charts and Nielsen and shit like that. However, it doesn't pay the same as somebody buying your album on iTunes for $10. So basically, when niggas stream your album and it says one album streamed or sold or whatever, if all those are streams, basically, I could tell you the artist is getting like 6 or $7 or not even six or seven dollars because it's not the artist it's the label the label's getting a payout for six or seven dollars right so if i'm gonna go with that assumption let's round it up to eight okay you would literally have to sell about a million copies just to get to eight million and if somebody signs you for eight million dollars you gotta imagine they're thinking you could make 20 so then i gotta think about it could Lil pump sell like uh two and a half million records i'm just gonna stop short of saying he could Okay, two and a half million records to recoup all of that money. And of course, there's other ways to recoup it. You could license music. You could do all type of shit. And of course, I could imagine the labels involved in that. I was just going off raw sales just now. However, let's not act like eight million dollars isn't a lot of money. Okay, I can tell you now that Logic's deal is for multiple albums. Basically, nobody's going to give you a big chunk of change and then just say, man, take that for one album. Get all the promo out of us. You can. We're going to make a little bit of money off of it. And then you could be a free agent and go do it again with somebody else. That's just not what's going on out here. Of course, for a little pump, he looks better and he looks like he's way more richer. By the way, he's already filthy rich. He looks like he just really got off and finessed by doing $8 million for one album. Let's be clear. They were giving him a $345,000 advance for his first album on Lil Pump when he was signed initially. You're telling me they jumped that number all the way up to $8 million? Why? Okay, why? Okay, I don't have to go through all the stats, and I do love Lil Pump. But he hasn't been dominating the Billboard charts with all type of platinum and gold records. I mean, he's had a very successful single in Gucci Gang, and his album did pretty well. But other than that, 
His singles, they do okay, but they're not going platinum left and right. Maybe they could in the future, but right about now, no. Okay, so him saying $8 million for one album, I got to call his bluff. Show us the goddamn paperwork because that makes no sense to me. What do y'all think? Y'all think that Dr. Pump actually got $8 million for one album? I think that's a stretch, okay? Unless this is some type of 360 deal where it's basically a 720 and they're getting a percentage off of every. Everything. So they believe that he's going to make enough money in the next like year or two is going to take him to release his next project that they believe they can recoup on that $8 million. But $8 million is not just chump change. Okay. What do y'all think? Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe. Men lie. Women lie. But rappers lie the most. I ain't going to lie to you.